Hi, my name is Janet Smith. Today, Gunjan Shah and I will be showing how to do large volume filtration of tissue culture media using vacuum or pressure driven systems. Today, we'll be filtering DMEM media. Please consult your user's manual for exact instructions. Using a 0.2 micron sterilizing grade Sterivex GP, GV, or for clarification, or use the 0.45 micron HV filter units for large volumes up to one liter. These compact design filter devices are single use and boast an impressive 10 square centimeter filter area that is wrapped around a center core. It also features a vent filter to prevent air locking. The packaged pre-sterilized device contains three different membranes from low binding Durapore, PVDF, GV or HV, or from polyether sulfone, GP, which has a higher throughput capabilities to process up to two liters, especially helpful when samples contain serum. Sterivex devices can be used with syringes or under pressure using house source or pump and driven by a peristolic pump. Various outlet fittings options make these easy to connect to your exact setup. Outlet configurations include male nipple with or without protective filling bell and lure lock fitting. Serum note. Solutions containing serum or high levels of ultrafine particles may hinder filtration through a 0.22 micron Sterivex GP filter units. However, pre-filtering such solutions with a Milex AP50 pre-filter prior to filtration through the 0.22 micron filter unit eliminates this problem. The Sterivex units are non-toxic self-venting devices capable of withstanding pressures up to 3.1 bar. Sterivex filtering device connected to a lure adapter, 6.4 millimeter hose barbed to a lure lock adapter. Outlets have additional tubing or connections as applications dictate. Solutions to be filtered. Here, we will be using a simulated media and sterile receiving flask to collect a filtered medium. System setup. The Sterivex filter units can be connected to a syringe greater than 10 cc or repeating syringe and proceed with positive pressure, peristolic pump or pressure vessel. Fill the 10 to 60 cc syringe Peel open the pouch containing the Sterivex filter unit using aseptic technique and attach a lure inlet of Sterivex device to the syringe outlet. Withdraw from pouch. Push syringe plunger and deliver filtered solution into an application appropriate container. Disconnect syringe to refill and reattach to process larger syringe volumes to device capacity. Once complete, detach by rotating inlet connection counterclockwise and discard filter and syringe appropriately. Setup, one gallon or five liter can be used for volumes up to one liter. Fit the pressure vessel with inlet ball valve, vent relief valve rated at seven bar, Assorted plumbing fittings to outfit Sterivex device, a quick release nipple and coupling, one quarter inch NPTM and lure adapter, male one quarter inch NPT to lure fitting of Sterivex filter device. If the Sterivex with male lure lock fitting type is used, it can be connected to another lure fitting downstream. Pressure source. Maximum withstanding pressure up to 3.1 bar from house vacuum line or pressure pump fitted with inline vacuum line filtration to protect pump during filtering. Procedure. Open pressure vessel cover. Inspect cover gasket and ensure gasket is in place. Add media to dispensing vessel. Place cover back into dispensing vessel Orienting the cover so the cam lock lever is pulled towards the vessel handle. As an option, a stir bar may be placed inside the pressure vessel an entire setup on a magnetic stir plate if needed. Make sure all dispensing vessel valves 
and pressure relief valves are closed. Attach Sterivex device to dispensing vessel outlet lure connection using a ring stand if needed. Turn on source pressure. Today, we will be setting up this filtration at one bar. Slowly open inlet ball valve to dispensing vessel and allow vessel to pressurize. Open outlet valve slightly to introduce fluid into the outlet. The air from the line should vent through the device until liquid reaches the device. Hold the device over a sterile collection container. Open valve all the way and begin filtering into container or containers. If needed, tap device to dislodge any air bubbles within the housing of the device to allow to vent out. Turn outlet valve off when complete or pause flow. Turn off pressure source. Depressurize pressure vessel using the vent relief valve. Once completed, the Sterivex filter can be removed, discarded appropriately, and pressure vessel opened for cleaning. Fill a flask with the solution to be sterilized. Prepare a parasolic pump. For best results, use a pump drive and pump head that can deliver a flow rate of approximately 100 mils per minute at the speed of 60 RPM. Load the peristolic pump head with 4.8 millimeter silicone tubing and attach a 6.4 millimeter hose barb lure lock adapter to the outlet side of the tubing. Caution, do not exceed pressures of 3.1 bar. Peel open the pouch containing the Sterivex filter unit using aseptic technique. Attach the lure lock end of the hose barb lure lock adapter to the inlet of the filter unit and withdraw it from the pouch. If desired, connect the unit to a ring stand and place a sterile collection flask under it. Turn on the pump. Start and stop as needed using the pump controls. When filtration is complete, discard the Sterivex filter unit appropriately. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube video channel.